And, and the best lesson, slow down. I mean, literally, slow down, observe, think. Anything you solve right now immediately, you probably could have solved a lot better if you took the problem, examined the problem, studied the problem. And, and you know, you'll go to a Bible study to study your God. You'll study your wife if you love her and you want to make her feel happy. We don't study problems. We run away from them. Mm-hmm. And so David would always stop me. And it drove me insane. It was like against every part of my character and core and everything. I had to, right now, never wait. Patients belong in hospitals is what I used to say. And it was a really stupid statement. And so he would always make me wait. And then we'd solve it on the first go. And maybe the solution might take a day or two or three. In the scheme of things in business, that's not a long time. Right. Anything that's got your emotions triggering you to where, well, I was talking with your guys about this backstage. If you are having an emotion that you would not choose to have, this is the other lesson that David taught me. He never articulated it this way, but, but he taught it to me because he lives this way. If you are having an emotion you would not choose, you should not be engaging in anything at that moment except for solving for that emotion. You know, fear, it's butterflies in your stomach, tingles down your spine, and you feel like running away from some shit. Mm-hmm. Excitement is butterflies in your stomach, tingles down your spine, and you feel like running towards some shit. The exact same thing. Anger, I'm going to beat something to death. Passion, I'm going to forge another Michelangelo. It's, 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 if you have an emotion you wouldn't choose, solve for the emotion. Take some stillness, step back. I probably sound more like a hippie than a businessman right now, but, but those two things really do intersect well. Well, I mean, it really resonates with me because this is a lesson I learned in the last six to nine months was slowing down. Oh, gosh. Right? Cause yeah. I, and it, this goes back to, you know, you're talking about you were a punk before, uh, how, you know, you're talking about your dad indirectly taught you a lesson to, to, to pursue money mm-hmm. and then directly taught you to pursue love, mm-hmm. right? So, like, you know, a lot of lessons we talked about on the show is, you know, what gets you here won't get you there. Going hard, being hard charged and going all in gets you to a certain level, but that's also the kind of thing that can blow you up. And so it's the last six, nine months where I've learned, like, oh, I need to slow down. I need to have some perspective and actually take some time to, to, to solve that problem. 